huge. Sorry, we passed, Bob. Uh, Sorry. Uh, the uh, Prop uh, 64 in 2016, uh, legalizing Sorry, use of marijuana, Sorry. setting up rules. So uh, you have dispensaries and growers and distributors all being licensed by the state, and then also the cities have jurisdiction. So the state expected to license 6,000 shots in the first few years. So far, 1,000. Uh, retail and delivery items have been licensed. So what is going on? Well, because uh, the marijuana industry is a victim of California. It's not as if Californians don't smoke pot. It's not as if there's a lot of buying of cannabis out there. It's just who's getting the business. The illegal cannabis growers and dispensaries and people who sell the drug dealers. Like I used to buy my pot a zillion years ago from the guy I had a dealer who would come and just give me the marijuana and I'd pay whatever amount of money. And that is, that's the business now, the illegal business. And why is that? Well, let me give you an idea. It is personally, uh, it, is per, uh, it is purposely legal to have marijuana. And you know how long it takes to actually get a license from the state? Two to four years. Now, how is that possible? Well, it's the regulations. And why is that? In order to get just a provisional license, we're not talking about a permanent license yet, all right, a provisional license, uh, every pot shop, every grower, every distributor has to conduct what's called a CEQA review to indicate how pot farms, cannabis businesses will affect the surrounding water, air, plants, wildlife, and what's being done to mitigate those harms. That review has to be done every year. And it, it is so burdensome that people are just so, no, not, not going to do it. And it's not as if you're building a project uh, where you do an I, I, environmental impact report, right? You do that once, uh, you get the permit, and you're done. This is every single year. And if uh, your local jurisdiction, the city or the county in which you are trying to get a license or maintain your license doesn't have the proper forms, doesn't have the mechanism by which you are allowed to work. You know, for example, conducting a CEQA report uh, review, and they don't, they don't have the mechanism for it. Guess what the licensed uh, cannabis shops have to do? They have to create one. They literally have to create a review that the government, which has no idea what it wants, and it is impossible to do so. You know what ends up happening? You know who's making the money? Environmental consultants. Not the people who sell the pot. I mean, that's crazy. But then again, welcome to California where we've taken environmental concerns uh, just uh, totally in, 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 to an insane level. And by the way, that's not to say that I am not a fan of uh, dealing with climate change, which I am, uh, and I know we are on the verge, and I believe that. But then again, is it possible to just go a little bit too far? Yeah, it is. You might as well just uh, make a cannabis shops illegal. Let's go back to the days when you had to buy the pot from dealers. So the state was going to make hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes. That's the other thing. The taxes are, are exorbitant. So you put all of that together, and what do you have? You have marijuana industry, which was supposed to be the biggest in the country, which was supposed to generate huge numbers of dollars, and the state's regulations make it impossible to do business. But the AQMD does the same thing. All right. Coming up, it's Tech Tuesday with uh, tech reporter Rich DeMuro, who I have not talked to in a couple of months, so I'm looking forward to that. And then coming up uh, at 9.30, mask-related incidents on flights are on the rise. Experts saying it could get worse. I have the answer. The answer is so simple that I don't know why they're not moving in that direction.
This is KFI AM 640 and more stimulating talk radio. Welcome to The Great Unmasking. KFI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Iron Radio app. Fully reopened, I'm Layla Muhammad, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. California has lifted most of its COVID-19 restrictions as of today. There will be no more state rules on social distancing and no more limits on capacity at restaurants, bars, grocery stores, gyms, stadiums, or anywhere else. Masks will no longer be mandated by the state in many situations. California was the first state in the country to put in place a coronavirus lockdown. Governor Newsom has indicated he will be taking action to loosen ma masking rules in the workplace. Newsom says that as the state reopens, it will be up to businesses to decide their own guidelines. There's no mandated passports, but businesses can require verification. Businesses can require mask wearing. Businesses have the freedom of choice. The Cal OSHA board will be voting on updated mask guidelines for the workplace on Thursday. It is expected that the governor will issue an executive order fast-tracking that rule change. News brought to you by Pacific Coast Termite at 800 Pacific. The National Weather Service has issued excessive heat warnings through tomorrow night. Areas affected include the Santa Monica Mountains and San Fernando, San Gabriel, and Santa Clarita Valleys. The service says there is also an excessive heat warning from today through Friday night in the Antelope Valley, as well as the Santa Ana Mountains and Foothills in Orange County. Officials say the hot, dry conditions could put a strain on the power grid and cause any brush fires to spread quickly. Cooling centers have been set up in parts of L.A. to help people deal with the extreme heat. The centers will be open starting today and they'll stay open through Sunday. Some of the cooling center locations are in Canoga Park, Sherman Oaks, and South L.A. An upcoming large mammal project at the O.C. Zoo will include a plaque dedicated to a young boy who was killed in a road rage shooting. This is a place that Aiden came with mom and dad and sister. Family spokeswoman Carla Lacey says the plaque is a way for six-year-old Aiden Leos to live on. There's some pictures that were shown in the uh, slideshow at the memorial service of him being here by the mountain lion exhibit and feeding the, the little goats and things like that. So it's a very special place. A murder charge has been filed against a man tied to the shooting from last month on the 55 freeway. The plaque is expected to be completed by early next year. At the OC Zoo, Corbin Carson, KFI News. A man has killed two co-workers at a fire hydrant factory in Alabama. Two other people got hurt in that shooting, which happened in the middle of the night. The shooter killed himself. A grocery store clerk has been shot dead near Atlanta after an argument with a customer about a mask. Witness George Scott says he got down when he heard the first shot. One shot, and then I had heard several other shots after that. Authorities say a 30-year-old man argued with the cashier about not wearing a mask. They say he left the store and came back with a gun. That guy is now in custody. President Biden is in Brussels today, and he I think he just actually landed in Geneva. But he was there meeting with EU leaders. The president says it's in America's best interest to have good relationships with NATO and the European Union. I think we have a great opportunity to work both with EU as well as NATO. And uh, we're feeling very good about it. Biden says he has a very different view on the EU than former President Trump had. A spokesman for Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the senator is sorry for using an offensive word to describe disabled children. Schumer made the comment during a podcast while talking about overcoming community resistance to housing initiatives. When I first was assemblyman, mm -hmm. they wanted to build a, a congregate living place for retarded children. Mm -hmm. The whole neighborhood was against it. These are homeless kids. Well, Schumer's office says he is sincerely sorry for his use of that hurtful and outdated term. There's a crash on the 405. Look at Long Beach on the southbound 405 at Alameda. Report of a two-car crash in the left lane. Couple of cars also on the right shoulder. It will be a solid drive for you from about Avalon. KFI in the Sky is sponsored by entry attorney Superwoman Superlawyer.com. Jeff Baugh, Hacienda Heights. The delays, oh, the delays uh, got worse here. Uh, listen up now, if you're leaving Diamond Forest, this is westbound 60 before Hacienda Boulevard. It is the carpool and left lane, and at times all lanes. And as a matter of fact, as I speak to you right now, yeah, they're blocking all lanes again. A few ambulances arrived here. Persons have been hurt. Now, again, the backup is right to the 57, so you got to get off. I've been watching Colima Road on the south side of the 60. That's getting busy, but still way better than sitting on the westbound 60. Uh, Valley Boulevard, the Gale, any of those. The track or the 
to get out of jail card is get on or back on the West 60 at Hacienda Boulevard. After that, you're past all of this and on your way. And you know what's coming, eastbound, the whole lanes are open here, but a lot of people looking as they go by. Going back to the 5760 uh, split and merge uh, through Diamond Bar, it's just plain slow, but all lanes open. Injured in an accident, visit SuperWeapon, SuperLawyer.com, Jeff Fogg, KFI in the sky. In Ontario on the 60 westbound, just before Grove, semi stalled out, the right lane is blocked, affecting a ride from about Van Buren. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Banks. The Clippers have evened their playoff series against the Utah Jazz. And after falling down 2-0 here at Game 4, the Clippers lead it the rest of the way and will come away with a crucial Game 4 victory to tie this series at two games apiece. Final score from Staples Center, 118-104. to The Clippers win it. Yeah, Game 5 set for tomorrow. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. If you want out of your house, it doesn't matter what the reason is, you're downsizing, financial issues, maybe you inherited a house and you want out, and that means cleaning, painting, repairing, staging. So let's talk about another way of doing it. You get a fair price for your home without any of that hassle. Buyer never walks through your house, no appraisal, no commissions, no fees, and you can get paid in cash within 10 days or less, and I'm talking about directbuyers.com. This is a local Family-owned business has been around since 1986. I've met with the owners, Janet and Matt, brother and sister. They're really good people. I just like the way they do business. They'll never lowball you. A lot of schmucks out there in this business. So don't sell your home until you talk to directbuyers.com, see what they can offer. They'll give you an honest, no-obligation offer. And they can even get you a $15,000 cash advance before closing to help you with your move. Go to directbuyers.com, directbuyers.com, call 844-242-SELL, uh, visit directbuyers.com. Dean Sharp here. Nothing disrupts your life, your comfort, even your safety like a power outage, and outages are the new normal. So now is the time to set up your home with an emergency generator from Duffy Power. Duffy is Southern California's generator experts, and with 0% interest financing, emergency power totally affordable. Duffy Power, making sure your life, your comfort, and your safety are not to be interrupted. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say Duffy Power. Pound 250, Duffy Power, or on the web at DuffyPower.com. Summer is here and it is getting hot. And you know what else is hot? The money that I'm saving with SolarMax technology. Without upfront cost? Yeah, uh, it's because SolarMax does everything themselves under one roof right here in Southern California. Exceptional quality control and no middleman. Right now, SolarMax is only $69.98 a month, which includes a solar panel system and a home battery. And an APR as low as 0.99%. This offer expires June 30th. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say SolarMax or go to SolarMaxTech.com. Monthly payment available on approved credits. This will be in our nice up Tuesday break. The KFI Financial Report brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is down 165 points. S&P down 11. NASDAQ down 73. Gold is 18.61 an ounce and oil 71.77 a barrel. The KFI Money Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. Protect your business with an industry-leading fire detection system. Visit BayAlarm.com to get protected today. South Wind Weather from KFI. We do have the excessive heat warning in effect for the coast, mountains, and valleys. This is running through Wednesday night. Mostly sunny skies. Highs in the triple digits for the valleys, the inland empire, and the high desert around 106 for our highs in those areas today. Upper 90s for the LA Basin and Inland OC. Upper 80s for the beaches and the low 90s in the mountains. Right now, 68 in Orange, 65 in San Clemente, 69 in Pacific Palisades, and 71 in West Covina. We leave local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Layla Muhammad. All the latest on gadgets and stuff with KFI President Handsome Nerd. It's Tech Tuesday with Rich Demiro. And uh, good morning, Bill Handel. On a uh, Tuesday morning, June 15th, as California opens up today, uh, masking, social distancing, no more capacity at restaurants. You betcha. So uh, that's good news. And uh, we'll uh, talk about the stories of what happened uh, today, probably tomorrow and the next day. 
In the meantime, it's time for Tech Tuesday with uh, tech reporter Rich Demuro. Rich, we have not talked in a couple of months. Good morning. Good morning, Bill. It sounds great to hear your voice again. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, been a lovely vacation, uh, most of which was in a hospital bed. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, I think you're doing better. Uh, yeah, actually, I am doing better. Yesterday was the first day, uh, and today it's easier than yesterday, and hopefully I'm back to like I wasn't gone within a couple of days. All right, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, one of the things that I remember specifically is when Steve Jobs opened the Apple store, and everybody said, I don't know, retail store just for Apple products. Uh, it was up in the, the air, retailer, uh, retail experts, and this was in malls where it was really expensive for office space. That I don't know, it doesn't work. Of course, uh, he created one of the most successful retail outlets in the world, uh, where a per square, uh, uh, per square footage of sales is uh, among the top on the planet. Uh, so there is a new store opening up in downtown LA next week, but it's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, this is the Apple Tower Theater, and everything that you said is so true. I mean, people have been spelling uh, death for retail for so many years. And if you go into, you know, I don't want to knock the big box retailers, but if you go into a tech section at, say, um, you know, I won't even mention them by name because I don't want to be mean, but, you know, any of these places, the tech is, is all over the place. It's a mess. It's not a good experience. You go into an Apple store, number one, there's always a line. Uh, there's, it's always packed. Uh, there's an atmosphere that you know you just can't replicate. It doesn't feel sad. It doesn't feel downtrodden or depressed like it does in these other retailers. And so, with all that said, Apple has done fantastically well with their stores. They keep building them. They've got unique designs. This one in downtown Los Angeles is opening next week on June 24th. They spent three years building or rehabbing, I should say, this building. This is a, a theater from 1927, the Tower Theater in kind of the Broadway Theater District. And they just did everything. If you look at the picture, it's just beautiful. They redid the, the clock tower. They, you you got to look at the picture on Google Maps to see what the, the street view looked like. And then you have to see the picture that Apple put out of the new, you know, what it looks like now. It's just night and day. I mean, they really did a nice job with this thing. Yeah, and when you look at the, uh, just a quick uh, little historical sidebar, um, uh, this uh, theater uh, was the first to feature sound uh, in movies, uh, and uh, one of the first, if not the first, theater to offer air conditioning. Yeah, uh, which is definitely needed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially on a day like today. Uh, so yeah, the, the theater itself has some historical aspects outside of you know just the fact that it's an old building. It did have some technological feats of its time, and so Apple, of course, will play that up in the grand opening. But the reality is, you know, it, the Apple Store is definitely something that is studied by other retailers. I don't think it's possible to recapture all kind of everything they do. I mean, you have a product that's so popular, the margins are huge. Um, they offer service, they offer repair. I mean, it's really a, a fantastic uh, situation. When you look at someone like Amazon, you know, they're recreating somewhat of that magic, but in, an, in a fully online experience. You know, they have some stores. And they are great, but, you know, if you look at Amazon, they're really the, the competition for Apple, you know, the way that they do things. They're doing, they're setting the standard for online, Apple sets the standard for in-store. Uh, and, uh, you know, just the, the way they do, like, for example, the Genius Bar, uh, where you have uh, real experts, and I'm all Apple products at home, uh, so uh, when I've had a problem with my phone or a computer at home, I go to uh, make an appointment uh, online to visit someone at the Genius Bar, uh, that people know Apple uh, products backwards and forwards. Uh, it's always some 17-year-old kid. Uh, I have never seen anybody at the uh, uh, Genius Bar who didn't have a face full of pimples. Uh, <laughs> well, they are definitely helpful. I mean, look, these, these are the people that know what they're doing. I was in Japan. I, this was many, many years ago, but I flew to Japan. My, my computer crashed upon arrival. It literally just stopped working. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm here for a week on work. What do I do? I fired up my phone, found an Apple store, made an appointment, not even realizing that there might be, you know, does this person speak English at the store? Like, I had no idea. Sure enough, I get there, person takes my computer, 
I spoke, of course, English, Japanese, probably three other languages as well. And, you know, help me out. And it was just that moment of like, wow, this is why people purchase these products because of the service that you get. And if you had a different phone or if you had a different computer, you probably would not be able to walk into a store halfway across the world and get the same exact service that you get here in the U.S. And by the way, my computer was kaput the whole time. It was, it was done. And uh, when you look at the way it was Jobs again, he did this, designing the store to clean, crisp, uh, the display tables and uh, the display cameras. I mean, it's just, it really is well done. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a break. I want to come back uh, and talk about a really interesting topic, and that's uh, paying for an hour of autonomous driving uh, instead of getting a vehicle that does autonomous driving. We'll be back uh, with Rich tomorrow right after this. This is KFI. Let's check in with Layla Mohammed in the KFI News Center. Most of California's COVID-19 restrictions have been lifted as of this morning, but Governor Newsom says the virus is still active and unvaccinated people will still need to wear masks. A brush fire near Lake Casillas in Ventura County has burned more than 150 acres. Evacuation orders have been lifted. Georgia Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has apologized for comparing COVID-19 mask restrictions to the Holocaust. We're checking out some trouble on the road. Specifically, we're looking at the 405 and the KFI in the sky next. Are you worried about refinancing your mortgage only to find a better rate later? Introducing the No Regret Refinance from Network Capital Funding Corporation. Mortgage rates are near all-time lows, and Network Capital is now offering one of our lowest 30-year fixed rates ever. 2.375% with a 2.54% APR. With a rate this low, you'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Our unique process is fast, simple, and secure. And right now, the Network Capital 30-year fixed rate is 2.375% with a 2.54% APR. Now, today's low rates won't last, so talk to us about the No Regret refinance today. Yeah. Call the experts at Network Capital right now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. That's 800-500-1-HIT. As a home run, call now and save big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1448. NMLS ID 11712. Not licensed in all states. Visit NMLS Consumer Access. Yes. Licensed by the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Oh, oh, oh. Finance Law number 603B787. Oh, oh, oh. An equal opportunity lender. Rates subject to change and may not be available at rate law. Discount points may apply. Subject to credit approval. Call 800-500-1448 for additional cost information. Pull into churches today and experience a true original. Bourbon black pepper smokeout chicken is back. Peppered and kissed with our bourbon blade. Only at churches, only five bucks. Churches, bringing that down home flavor. Upper Valley at participating locations. Mostly sunny skies, highs in the 90s to triple digit inland 80s along the coast. This report brought to you by Churches, a crash on the 405. It's at Carson. It says southbound 405 after Wilmington Avenue. Multi car injury crash here. Emergency crews have made it to the scene. It is a solid ride though from Avalon Boulevard if you're heading southbound. KFI in the Sky is sponsored by injury attorney Superwoman Superlawyer.com. Jeff Baugh, trouble on the 101. All right, you betcha. Listen up now. He's going to have, uh, he's going to be late for downtown Los Angeles. The F drive stuff on Hollywood Freeway. Uh, the problem is South 101, just past the floor level at the Temple Ramp. That's a tricky spot. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Going to any like criminal courts or any of that. Uh, the left lane was blocked. Transition was open. But as I speak to you, fire department is leaving. Tow trucks are on the move right now. We had a tanker here. Uh, it looks like they're going to stay here for a little bit. Uh, that right lane leading to the Temple off ramp. I'm hedging a little bit because they're starting to move. But well, it looks like they've been here for a while. Listen, the bottom line is back up to Sunset Boulevard. Uh, using Sunset Boulevard itself will get you down towards Dodger Stadium. If you want to get off at Silver Lake, you make a right and then a hard left. Pick up Temple all the way into downtown. It's wide open. More on this coming up. Injured in an accident. Visit Superwoman, superwater.com. Jeff Fogg, KFI in the sky. In Southgate on the 710 North, just before Firestone Boulevard, it's a wreck in the center divider, but it is affecting a ride from the 105. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Day. This report is sponsored by California Highway Patrol in Los Angeles. If you're looking to start an exciting new career with job security and excellent benefits, the California Highway Patrol is looking for you. Apply today and never be bored at work again. Visit chpmadeformore.com to learn more or begin the application process. 
Hi, Greg Hughes here with Hughes Private Capital. Our company offers real estate investment options for you that are built on cash flow, are free of landlord hassles and expenses, and produce the same predictable, consistent return month after month. How do we do that? When you invest with us, you're part of a diversified, secured portfolio of over 1,000 homes in five cities and three states. And with today's interest rates being so low, now is the time to use leverage with your Hughes Capital investment and earn a 17% return. And one of the best ways to invest with Hughes Private Capital is through a 10 31 exchange where you can sell your investment property, pay no taxes, and never worry about landlord hassles or expenses again. Plus, remember, real estate is one of the most tax efficient investments out there. We find most investors don't pay taxes for the first nine years of their investment with us. To find out more, go to steadyinvestmentreturn.com. That's steadyinvestmentreturn.com. Or call us at 888-300-5353. That's 888-300-5353. An important message from Kaiser Permanente. Thanks to new federal funding, you may be among the millions of Americans now eligible for federal financial assistance to help lower your health coverage premiums, even if you didn't qualify before. That's right. You may now qualify for federal financial assistance to help lower your health coverage premiums, even if you didn't qualify before. Call Kaiser Permanente now at 1-800-494-6261. That's 1-800-494-6261. Hey, it's Gary Hoffman. Let's talk about your Medicare coverage. Are you new to Medicare? Scan Health Plan is here to help. With Scan, you get comprehensive coverage plus extra benefits that may surprise you, all with exceptional service you won't find anywhere else. Call Scan at 1-855-370-7226. PTY711 or ask your agent about SCAN. SCAN Health Plan is an HMO plan with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in SCAN Health Plan depends on contract renewal. Looking for your next investment? Want to cash out of stock market risk and volatility? Here are eight reasons to consider NRIA's proven real estate development fund. Monthly cash flow payouts of 10% annualized and bonuses to 21% targeted. We strategically locate in lower risk, high demand areas people are moving to. New construction is short on supply. Real estate affords diversification and safety from stock market risk and volatility. We have substantial property assets selling out every month supporting your investment. Our short and long-term strategy provides for steady returns today and major upside targets. Our buildings are socially responsible, environmentally friendly, and pandemic-hardened. We are an industry leader with a 15-year proven track record. Hedge against inflation and receive steady cash flow. Start your due diligence at NRIA.net or call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA private placement memorandum. Read it first. Fast performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at NRIA.net. Southern Californians could save an average of $537 when they switch to auto insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance to see how much you could save. Get your free quote at AAA.com slash insurance today. If you or your family have been financially impacted by COVID-19, this pandemic is not your fault. And new California laws have been passed to help. That's right. If you've fallen behind on your mortgage or run up credit card or business debt, please listen carefully. Our friends at Oak Tree Law know every letter of the new laws. And just listen to these real examples of how they've helped our listeners. A nurse from Torrance had her hours cut due to COVID-19. She was hit with medical issues of her own, racked up $160,000 in debt and fell behind on her mortgage. With this new law, she was able to get current on her mortgage and eliminate the bad debt. Here's a story about a real estate agent and her husband in Pasadena. Their income stopped when the pandemic hit. Their second mortgage was threatening to foreclose, and they had 75000 in credit card and business debt. This new law allowed them to protect their home and eliminate the debt. This pandemic has affected us all, but there is life-changing help available with one absolutely free call to Oak Tree Law. 800-542-2949, 800-542-2949, or visit oaktreelaw.com. Newt Gingrich here, and I'd like to invite you to listen to my podcast, Newt's World. Most people know me as the former Speaker of the House, but I'm also a historian with a wide range of interests. I enjoy talking with experts in their field and the most interesting people across a variety of subjects. I release four episodes of Newt's World every week with an effort to excite the imagination of our audience, and hopefully you'll learn something new each time you listen. Listen and subscribe for free to Newt's World on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Live and local. And our radio station. And uh, good morning, Bill Handles and uh, the morning crew on a Tuesday morning, June 15th. Today, the state of California is open for business. Masking requirements gone. 
social distancing gone. Although individual businesses can still say, uh, you don't wear a mask, you're not walking in the door. And there are some restrictions. Airlines, for example, they can still mandate. As a matter of fact, by law, can mandate masks. So we're going to talk about that at 9.30. Uh, because all the problems that we're seeing, I got the answer. And it's so easy. You're going to say, I should have thought of that. It's like Velcro. Uh, Rich DeMuro. Uh, we're back with uh, Rich, uh, our tech reporter. Rich, so what is your opinion on Velcro? Never mind. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, who does it, right? It's uh, just the kids' shoes. That's uh, not bad. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, all right, autonomous driving, and uh, there you, you sent me uh, a segment of paying money for autonomous driving, uh, $8.50 an hour. You want to uh, comment on that, explore that? Yeah, I thought this was an interesting take on autonomous driving. So I've often talked about on Twitter how I'm in the market for a Tesla and I'm, you know, trying to look at the options and this and that. And you know, Tesla charges about 10 grand for the autonomous driving feature, which is still yet unfinished with their cars. Uh, but you pay for it in advance and on the website, historically it said, well, this price can go up later if you buy it after your car. I mean, 10,000 on a on a, you know, 30 to 40,000 dollar car is a pretty big premium. So, with that in mind, Volkswagen, uh, in an interview, had a different approach to autonomous driving that I thought was pretty interesting. It's kind of like an in-app purchase. So imagine you buy your car, one of these new you know, electric cars that, that Volkswagen's making that, that you know, in the future might have autonomous driving. Uh, instead of paying up front for that feature, you would just unlock it by the hour. So let's say you're driving to Vegas, Bill. You say, all right, uh, car driving to Vegas, uh, 8.15 an hour times four hours, whatever. You pay the 50 bucks, and that's it. You move on with your life. So I mm. thought this was an interesting new approach. Yeah, that is. So let me ask you about electric cars. Uh, obviously, Tesla was the first one out of the gate as a legitimate, no PS electric car that competed with uh, the internal combustion engine cars. Uh, now it's everybody and uh, their dog has an electric vehicle. Is the technology, and I'm talking about battery technology, uh, virtually the same, or are there different kinds of battery platforms out there? Well, they, you know, GM is promoting, they have a brand new battery platform that they're going to start using called Ultium, which uh, it actually, from everything I heard when they announced it, sounds pretty good. And they do believe that they'll be able to make batteries cheaper with this platform, lighter, um, squeeze more of them into cars because they can, they can arrange them in different ways. Um, you know, I feel like the other co companies have made progress, but not in the same way that Tesla has overall, you know, become a leader in this place. Now, GM may, you know, we may see that when those cars do come out, I think it's like 2023, um, you know, they may prove to be a winner there too. But I think the battery technology, when you look at these cars, you know, you're getting 250 to 350 miles on a on one of these bigger electric cars and some of the smaller ones, you know, you're talking 100 miles or, you know, some of them are as low as 80 miles. Um, but Bill, the bottom line is that every one of these companies is getting in on this. And what I come back to Tesla for over and over is the fact that they are built from the ground up to be the complete electric solution. Whereas these other companies, yes, they're getting in on it. Volkswagen did a really nice job with the ID4 that I test drove. Um, you know, you've got the Leaf that's been around forever, but you know, they all kind of backed into it where Tesla built everything from the ground up and it just all works together to be a unified system versus just being a car that has now an electric uh, component to it. Uh, do any of these car companies license uh, the battery technology from Tesla? Uh, not that I know of, and I'm not sure, you know, Tesla's kind of like Apple, you know, they do things their own way. If you look at their charging, you know, it'll work with a different charger, but, app, uh, sorry, Tesla's charger is proprietary if you want the fastest speeds, whereas everyone else has, you know, sort of these level one, level two, level three chargers that are all interchangeable. And yes, you can use those for a Tesla, but the one time that I test drove a Tesla for a segment and I found one of these chargers at my hotel, I mean, it was basically the equivalent of a trickle charge if you're not using their supercharger. Um, and so, you know, the reality is the, the licensing of the technology from Tesla may be in the long-term plans, but right now, as they especially are trying to get ahead of all these companies that, you know, are, are really giving them a run for the money, it's, it's not, I don't think that's something they want to do right now. All right, uh, Rich, uh, his uh, website is richontech.tv. 
where you can get all the information is the KKLA tech reporter and, of course, our tech reporter. That's Rich on Tech.TV. Rich, you have a good one. Take care of yourself. Thanks, Bill. You too. All right, coming up, Handle on the News, late edition, uh, right here, KFI AM uh, 640. Let's check in with Layla sitting in for Jennifer this week. The fire departments of L.A. County, Orange County, and Ventura County are bringing in the big guns for wildfire season. Well, big helicopters to be exact. The three departments have entered into a first-of-its-kind agreement to lease the world's largest helitankers from Colson Aviation in Canada. This is the future of aerial firefighting. Brian Bennessy is the chief of the Orange County Fire Authority. It was his idea to bring in the Very Large Air Tankers, or VLATs for short. The air power is partially funded by SoCal Edison. He and the other chiefs have created the Regional Quick Reaction Force, or QRF, which bypasses typical red tape to deploy resources. Quick Reaction Force is a military term meaning to rapidly respond to escalating situations that require speed and force. That's exactly what we need to battle wildfire. A 3,000-gallon Chinook will be in L.A. and O.C. A 1,000-gallon Sikorsky will be staged in Ventura County. From the Los Alamitos Air Base, Steve Gregory, KFI News. You can hear more about fire readiness this Sunday at 4 p.m. when KFI News presents A Season of Fire, hosted by Steve Gregory. News brought to you by Mike Diamond, the Smell Good Plumber. A hostel in mid Wilshire has become a flashpoint for one street in the neighborhood. Ron Wiggins says the clientele staying at the hostel on South Orange Drive has changed as international travel stopped with the pandemic. There seems to be a level of um, drug dealing and gang activity, things like of that nature, that they're renting to. The neighbors argue the hostel has always operated illegally and that when the city has taken action, it has simply changed its name and changed the locks. Researchers say California was one of the top states people were trying to move from last year. Data from the North American Moving Services Company says there were also a lot of folks leaving Illinois, New York, New Jersey, and Maryland. The top relocation destinations for last year were Idaho, Arizona, Tennessee, South Carolina, and North Carolina. He couldn't make it to the wedding, so mom took the wedding to him. Anita Sanchez's father passed away last year, so she wanted her two sons, Sergio and Manny, to walk her down the aisle. 17-year-old Sergio, however, has been fighting leukemia since he was six. He got a bone marrow donation from Brother Manny in April, but Sergio couldn't get out of the hospital in time for the wedding. So with the help of staff at Children's Hospital Los Angeles, paper decorations and lights were hung for a pre-ceremony ceremony recorded at the hospital with Sergio walking mom to the groom. The recording was then played three days later at the actual ceremony just before Manny walked mom down the aisle again to make it a full family affair. Michael Crozier, KFI News. A crash on the 10. It's in Pomona on the 10 westbound right at Gary. The uh, wreck in the center divider here. Injuries are involved. Got emergency stuff on scene right now. Your trip is going to be delayed right around Town Avenue. KFI in the Sky is sponsored by injury attorney Superwoman Superlawyer.com. Jeff Law, update on the 101. Well, I tell you what, we could use a Chinook to clear freeway crashes. Wouldn't that be cool? Big look, put the car up and uh, dump it off. Keep moving. But a little good news here. Southbound 101 past four level at Temple. A crash cleared completely. All ends are open now. A third about maybe three minutes after our last report. However, coming through the Coanga Pass House, South Hollywood is real slow from Sunset Boulevard. Got a little extra time to stick with the freeway. Once you get close to Vermont, from there down, you'll start moving again. Now, that northbound 101 and West End Verge still is slow. We had some earlier problems. Uh, north of the four-level, things will get a little bit better for you. And then finally, cell 5 coming out of Burbank and Glendale, all the way down towards Boyle High Sea Cell Interchange. It's kind of slow through the Pasadena Freeway, but after that, believe it or not, the speeds will improve a little. Injured in an accident. Visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Bog, AFI in the sky. It's a pretty rough through Hacienda Heights on the 60 West before Hacienda Boulevard, where uh, the two left lanes are blocked, the carpool and left lane. They expect that drive from the 57 to be very cranky. Hey, your in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Beck. Will Smith put the Dodgers ahead of the Phillies with this homer in the fourth. Smith hits a drag to the field. Way back and go! A two-run home run, Will Smith. And the Dodgers take the lead 2-1. Seventh home run of the season for Will Smith. He got a 2-1 pitch. And he knocked it out of here in the left field familiar. Final score, LA 3, Philly 1. And the series continues tonight at 7-10. Julio Urias on the mound for the boys in blue. And you can hear it live on AM570 LA Sports or in HD through the iHeartRadio app.
The Angels fell to the A's 8-5. to five. Game 2 at 6.40 this evening with Andrew Heaney starting for the Halos. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Inflation is here. I mean, we're seeing story after story. Forget about stories. You go to the supermarket and uh, you're just paying more. And with inflation, uh, interest rates go up. And so let me suggest thinking about refinancing your house now and save yourself some money. Mark Tice of HMS Capital recommends you apply with his company, of course, HMS Capital, and then with any other lender you wish. I mean, at the same time, apply with a competitor at the same time. He's that confident he can get you the best deal. I've done two mortgages with him. No appraisal application fees of any kind, and rates are still ridiculously low, although I guarantee you they're going to go up. 833 555 833-255-5698. Visit hmscapital.com. hmscapital.com. HMS Capital funding is a DBA of Golden Empire Inc. MNL employee number 2427. HMS Capital is licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Under the California Residential Mortgage Company. Equal Southland weather from KFI. Sunny skies today with highs in the triple digits for the valleys, the Inland Empire, and the high desert around. 90, um, well, let's say upper 90s for the LA Basin and Inland OC, upper 80s along the coast, and low 90s in the mountains. We leave local, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Layla Mahomes. I want to break free. Ready to break free? Norwegian Cruise Line is back and sailing this summer. Get back in the Caribbean or take in the stunning sights in Europe. And with our robust health and safety program, you can cruise confidently. Book today and enjoy 30% off all cruises, free open bar, free airfare, and more. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Offer ends soon. Norwegian Cruise Line. Sail safe, feel free. Ships registry to the Bahamas and USA. Restrictions apply. Hey, it's Jennifer Jones-Lee. So I know we're all ready to get back in the air to go see friends and family or just have some you time far away from that home office of yours. So why let anything stand in the way of that? Soon you'll need a federal form of ID to fly within the U.S. like a real ID. Stay ahead of the curve by applying for your real ID now before the rush. Trust me, doing it now means you won't have to wait longer at the DMV later. Start the application and upload your documents to the website, CaliforniaRealID.org, and you'll save yourself a lot of time getting that cool-looking little bear and star on your license. Jody has one of those jingles stuck in his head. Let's see if we can find out which one it is. That's crazy. Don't I hear that commercial? It's in my head all day long. All day long. Can't get rid of it. Oh, yeah. I know which one it is. 1-800-777-4-AIS. When it comes to protecting your business from fire, Bay Alarm brings the best. Like industry-leading fire detection systems, monitored 24-7. Bay Alarm puts the pro in fire protection. Now, more than ever, Bay Alarm. HDO 28 CCL 880138. Small business owners know cutting costs without cutting quality is tough. How do you trim expenses without hurting your business? Easy. Get Spectrum Business. Call 888-489-2212. Switch to Spectrum Business and you can get the best internet and phone services for half of what you're paying today. Cutting costs can be easy when you get Spectrum Business. Just call 888-489-2212. Restrictions apply. Call for details. I feel incredible because I called 1-800-WEST-MEDICAL. KFI AM640. Handle on the news. Late edition. Handle on the news. Bill Handle. You gave me the heebie jeebies. You know what I'm saying? And now, here's Bill Handle. Good morning. On a Tuesday, June 15th, Handle and uh, the morning crew. Uh, today, California is open for business. Mass requirements uh, gone. Uh, capacity at restaurants uh, now. You can go and just get crammed in if you want. Uh, and uh, social distancing uh, also gone. Although, uh, you may see restaurants still that say, uh, too bad. You're walking in with a mask. And plenty of restaurants have done that, and then you take the mask off when you eat. 